situation at present with Charles and Zogby? Well, he hasn't changed at all. I've been very surprised that um, managers or people can publicly speak about our players. That's that's a, a real, um, a really, a bit disappointing because in, it's enough media speculation. Um, I said before, I don't agree with the transfer window being open while the competition is on the way, and I think it, that's bad enough to 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 have the players focus and concentrating on the important matters when you get other other people within the game talking about. Uh, our players. That's really, really disappointing. The situation with Charles hasn't changed at all. Um, the player's got a certain valuation. If it's a club that's going to meet that valuation, then it's something to think about. Until then, is 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 uh, Charles is a Wigan Athletic player, and, and we're focusing on Saturday. Is there a concern for you, uh, in general terms, that we're seeing um, players in some cases? deciding that they want to do things a certain way. I mean, we've seen things like, for example, Javier Mascherano not in this right mental frame of mind, supposedly, to play for Liverpool. Asmir Begovic refusing to play for, for Stoke. Is, is there too much power for players these days? Do you think? I, 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 but the, the, the problem is not the players. We give them that power. Um, if you stop the transfer window before the competition starts, the players will focus uh, in, in the job in hands and they will focus in being as good as they can on a daily basis. We are allowing that to happen. I think uh, for me it's, it's, it's just a, uh, everyone now speaks about player power. That's, uh, the transfer window gives the, the player the opportunity to think about possible moves. Sometimes it's the family, sometimes it's normal. It's the time where the player needs to think about his next move. But we are not we're not helping the situation by allowing the transfer window being open when the competition is on the way. That would be perfect to do it while the the, 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 the competition is not on. The players can think about their futures. You're not going to stop um, players talking with agents, agents playing with other uh, managers. That's that's probably the side of the game that we cannot control. But what we can control is that the that speculation closes as soon as the competition starts. And at the moment. The competition, in my eyes, gets devalued because the players are not really focused on winning football games and start deciding on, on their futures. But that's not the players' fault at all. It's our fault for allowing the transfer window being open once the competition is, is already started. Do you see yourself doing any more business, either incomings or outgoings, before the, the window closes down? Yes, yes, because um, we lost 10 players in total this summer and obviously we brought in six. So <laughs> if you do the maths, I think we're a little bit short in numbers. but. We we just trying to get the right the right players in the right personalities and we'll carry on working until until Tuesday. But hopefully we'll we'll get a a, a couple a couple of new faces.